I love running. It's the one thing that helps me clear my head, gets my blood flowing, and gives me energy for the day. When I first started running, I had this bulky CD player with electronic skip protection, and I'd have to shuffle it from hand to hand, hoping that the sweat didn't loosen my grip and make me drop my tunes. Then Apple came out with the iPod Nano. Remember those things? They're like this big. Game changer. Mine would clip onto my shirt or shorts, and I'd put my earbuds in, and just lose myself in the music and the rhythm of running. They even had a thing called a power song. You'd hold down the middle button, and the iPod would play whatever song you had designated as your go-to song. I'd start my power song, and it would just push me forward, and I'd be able to tackle the biggest, longest hill in my neighborhood with speed and confidence. You might already know this, but we're talking about confidence all summer long. Now, we're not saying kids should put their confidence in their latest playlist. No, that would not be what we call the wise choice. But when we live with confidence, when we discover what God thinks about us, we find the courage to do what God has called us to do. That's why we define confidence like this. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. God sees us as his children. God loves us and sent Jesus to rescue us. And Jesus promised, I will never leave you. Because we know Jesus is with us, we can be confident in him every day. We can have confidence that he's working to transform us into exactly who he created us to be. And like we've been saying all summer, confidence is trusting God no matter what and putting that trust into action. Confidence is believing that God will meet you where you are and make it possible to accomplish all that he's called you to do. Our memory verse reminds us of that. In Philippians 1.6, Paul writes, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Throughout this month, we'll see how this played out in the lives of those who followed God and put their faith in Jesus. We start with the familiar story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, as we look to answer the question, what does it mean to trust God? When the faith of these three men was put to the test, these friends remained confident in God's power. God showed up big time and rescued them from a fiery furnace. Bottom line, trust that God is always with you. Next, we head to the New Testament in the Gospel of Matthew and find Peter in a moment of risk. Peter is crossing the lake at night with a few friends when an epic windstorm whips up. These guys are terrified, which only gets worse when they see Jesus walking toward them on top of the water. They think it's a ghost until Jesus calls Peter to step out of the boat and join him. And only when Peter keeps his focus on Jesus can he find the confidence to walk. Bottom line, stay focused on Jesus. Then in week three, we look at what God gives us to help us find confidence no matter what happens. Paul wrote a letter to a church in the city of Ephesus. They needed encouragement to keep going. Paul reminded them that with the power of the Holy Spirit, they have the armor of God, which will help them fight against anything that Satan can throw at them. Bottom line, use what God has given you to stand strong. We finish our summer with an important question. What are some things that are true about God? We hope kids can figure out how they can live differently because of something Paul wrote in a letter to the church in Rome. In Romans 8, 38 and 39, Paul reminds us, nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. That's because of what Christ Jesus our Lord has done. We think this is the best way to remind kids that they can live with confidence because of what God has done for them. Bottom line, God loves you no matter what. This summer and all throughout the year, we hope you get in the mix. Keep reminding your kids what God sees in them. We can put our confidence in all sorts of things, but it's only our confidence in God that will last and help us do what he called us to do. But that doesn't mean we can't press play on a killer playlist or a power song while we do it. <laughs>